let's see the implementation of factory method pattern using Java so we have this tennis complex booking uh, application right as I said right now the application is in a very basic state there's no membership there's no annual lifetime or temporary members it's just members and he can do code booking so I'll just say I'm a returning member I'll log in and yeah I can book code ah, let's say cash payment and amount paid will be 300 and create booking so that's all I can do right now I can just do the code booking there's only one type of member that's it now the first thing we want to implement is we want to create three kinds of membership that is lifetime annual and uh, temporary so I'm going to use single table inheritance again I want to make this user abstract right I just want to have specific kind of members like it has to be either lifetime temporary or annual so I'll create those domain classes let's say lifetime member cool they will be basically users of our system I'll just say extends user and you remember that from the last video to use single table inheritance we'll have to provide a discriminator right my three classes are ready that is annual member uh, with discriminator as annual lifetime member with discriminator as lifetime and temporary member so now I will go to my user model and I added some fields start date and end date because our membership uh, duration will depend on these two fields so the next logical step would be to give option to users when they sign up uh, which kind of membership they want to have right from is where I give the values uh, lifetime then annual and then temporary okay and we'll get that information in our controller using the form parameter so let's write that code here if params dot membership type equal equal to lifetime then user equal to new lifetime user lifetime member right then else if right params dot membership type equal equal to annual annual cool else um, it should be temporary member temporary member cool so this is the code we are creating a specific type of member based on the parameter membership type now why at first place we created these three kinds of members is that they will have certain differences for example lifetime membership will be for 60 years annual membership will be for one year and temporary membership will be for just one day so let's make that provision so every membership every kind of membership will have a start date end date and a booking discount like for example lifetime members will have certain discount on every booking annual members will have certain discount and temporary members most probably will not have any discount right so these are the three fields whose values will be defined by the individual kind of membership right so I added one method save membership info this method will be overridden in children classes that is annual lifetime and temporary so let's go to lifetime membership so here I am overriding that save membership info method and I'm setting start date as today's date end date as so I'm adding 60 years to today's date and I'm saving that as an end date and booking discount factor is uh, 0.25 so they'll get about 75% off on the booking amount right so that is in lifetime in annual member same setting start date as today's date 
end it as I have added one year to the star current date and that is the end date and booking discount factor is 0.5 so that is 50% off and temporary member it's simple start date is current date end date is current date and booking discount factor is 1 that means there is no discount basically whatever the amount will be multiplied by 1 that is how our different kinds of membership will provide different functionality once again I'll go back to our user controller and as you can see based on this parameter membership type will create a instance of lifetime member annual member or temporary member right for our new member and will call his uh, save membership info on that user newly created membership or newly created user so let's go and check this out so I'll just say sign up okay choose your membership type I'll say lifetime okay so I'm gonna create this so it is a lifetime member that we have created right uh, let's check out the start date and end date the end date is 2077 yeah that's pretty much 60 years from now on start date is today yeah cool so we are okay let's try and create one uh, annual member right cool so I'll create this let's see if we have created another member yeah we have so this is an annual member as you can see and discount factor is 0.5 awesome so we created users of different kinds right I'm going to enter my user class and I'm going to say public void uh, notify new member here basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to send an email now this is going to be a concrete method because this behavior is same for all kinds of members right I will uh, write the boilerplate Java code for sending an email right so I have created a new email service in my services folder in my application this email service class has one method called as send email which requires an address parameter right and this is a boilerplate java code of sending an email right source code shall be available on github so you can check it out but this is pretty much a standard java code cool email service dot send email right and we'll say this dot email that is the email address cool so again we'll go to our user controller and here we'll say user dot notify new member cool so this two right these two activities will happen regardless of this part shall we first check if the email is going for new user so let's let's quickly do that Here, let's create a new member so i'm just going to create and okay the lifetime member has been created let's see if the email has been sent oh yeah so there is a new email welcome to bnp now coming back to a point so if you remember our principles design principle will take out the portion of the code which changes and separate it from the portion which does not change so this portion doesn't change uh, saving membership info notifying new member checking if user model has any errors and then saving the user model in the system we need to move this thing this instantiation of specific type code into another component our we have to create a factory right so let's quickly go to our services right and let's create a new java class right and i'll say member factory okay in jira's framework the form parameters are available of the R of the class GRELS parameter map. So I'm using that and passing it here. So seems like our code. Let's use this factory method in our controller. So let's go here and let's replace this. So user equal to member factory. So create member. Uh, params dot membership type right 
so let's create a new member again let's say annual this time okay looks like it has been created so let's shuffle it this is an annual member so it has been created so we basically successfully moved that instantiation logic of specific type to the factory class right so this is first part that we talked about in our video now let's implement the factory method pattern that is we need to front create franchises of our application currently this is only like one operation at one place right so let's quickly do that so we need to go to our user model and we need to add a location right so we'll say location so it will be mumbai new york and london okay so we'll say select location we'll say mumbai and london cool we'll name it as location all right now we have a provision to specify location along with the membership type right as i said in my video while discussing the factory method pattern these memberships will differ for different locations for example a lifetime member in mumbai facility was of duration 60 years it could be 80 years in new york and in london it could be 90 years similarly the booking discount would be different for different locations right we want to give that uh, flexibility to the operations of different franchises so now we need to create more concrete products for our franchises so let's quickly do that so i'll uh, create new york annual member right uh, new york lifetime will have 70 years of membership duration and this booking factor will be only 0.1 so they will get 90% discount London annual London lifetime and uh, New York annual and uh, New York lifetime cool so these are my concrete products right for the three franchises as you can see I have kept the temporary member as common for all three franchises because for temporary member be it New York London or Mumbai start date and end date will be the same that is the date of joining and there will be no discount on offering so I have not created a three classes three separate products for temporary membership I'll just walk you down through the factory method pattern code we have talked about it in detail in our video now let's just uh, I'll just walk you through let's quickly look at how you have arranged our classes so in my uh, membership package I have uh, abstract client membership manager service right this is my abstract client this has one concrete method create membership which will eventually return the created newly created user right with the membership right so create membership requires type which type of membership and params the HTML form parameters so this method has two parts first it will first create a member right now this member could be of type New York annual or London lifetime or Mumbai temporary right we don't know that so this will create a member this method and once we get that member created we will save the membership info for that method and then we will notify that member with an email like we have seen right and we will return that user to the controller so this is our concrete method in our abstract membership manager service class but it requires this factory method to get the actual member right created so that abstract method abstract factory method is this right its name is create member it will also return a user and the implementation of this create member method will be provided by children membership manager service classes for example New York membership manager uh, Mumbai membership manager and London membership manager so these will provide the implementation for this create a member uh, factory method which is abstract in this class so it's very simple for New York membership manager 
it will provide the implementation for that so it if the membership type is lifetime the parameter value is lifetime it will create a new york lifetime member if it is annual it will create a new york annual member instance or temporary member right similarly london membership manager it will also provide implementation for that factory method because it also extends the it inherits the membership manager service class so if the membership type is lifetime it will create a london lifetime member instance if it is annual it will create a london annual member uh, instance right so and there will be one for mumbai now let's go back to our controller so first thing we got to do is uh, we got to decide which membership manager out of uh, Mumbai, London and New York we are going to use. So we have written this factory, membership manager factory. So based on the value of location that we are going to get from the user, we will create instance of either Mumbai membership manager, New York membership manager or London membership manager. Once we get that here in the membership manager variable, we will invoke the create membership method right it will also have the membership type parameter from again from the user and all other parameters like user info like last name first name email address and all that in this basically all the standard procedure will follow basically so create a member will be created depends on the membership type and location then its membership info will be saved it will be notified via an email so this is our standard and now then lastly that user will be collected here after all the processing and we will save that user or member in the database and that's it pretty much let's quickly run the code okay so application is running so I'll just create a new member sign up okay you know this awesome location will be New York and membership will be annual and I'll hit the create button so I'll just go to view tool windows let's see database go to user and yep I think NY annual yeah so we have created a New York annual kind of uh, membership right when we book the code I want uh, on the amount I want the membership discount to be applied booking dot code dot rate this is the actual amount right so instead of that I'll take that out and I'll say right and my final payment is 102 which is pretty less but yeah it should be that because I applied 20% discount on card payment and 60% discount based on my annual membership so pretty good right awesome so that's about it this was our implementation of factory method design pattern see you in the next video where we will discuss another object oriented design pattern